the commonest blood group, at least based on data from our population, is the O. That's the ABO blood group. So yes. a lot of us are O. I mean, we're just O, um, ABO, um, followed by the B, mm. and then followed by A, and followed by AB. So just about 4% of the population is AB. Mm. That is not common. But when we say rare, that is really, really, really uncommon. Um, take, for instance, someone who is AB negative. That person is probably just about 1% of the entire global population. So that is really, really rare. And so you're going to have difficulty in getting blood for such a person mm. because you will need to check a, a hundred persons before you get one person that is AB negative. You know, so those are examples of rare blood group types. Um, you hear something like um, Bombay, you know, Bombay blood group. Yes. Uh, we don't, we commonly don't have that in the Nigerian setting, mm -hmm. but there are settings like in India where it was discovered in Bombay. Mm -hmm. That's why it carries that name Bombay, you know, um, and those are very, very rare blood groups. You know, there's what we call the RH null phenotype. These are very rare blood groups and it, it's probably just barely 50 persons in the entire world that has that RH null phenotype. That's so the rare. person doesn't have anything like RH you know, antigens on their red cell surface. You know, so these are very rare blood groups and that calls for being on top of your game.